How do you use an external hard drive? If you care about photo organization at all, or if your photos are a hot mess express, you're going to want to save this video or like it or comment so that you can come back, trust me. So after you plug in your external hard drive, it's going to appear over here under locations. This is on a Mac. So you can see here, mine is named Klaus. Um, yours might be named something like backup, SanDisk, they're all named something different and you can change the name if you want. So I changed mine to Klaus. Now we are in Klaus now. You can see that I have lots of stuff in here already, but I just wanna show you that in order to add something, all you have to do is pick it up, drag it and drop it. So you can drag your images straight from your memory card right here into the external hard drive. Now, it's still saved here on my computer desktop. It's just making a copy here on my external hard drive. So I officially have two copies now. Now, how you organize your photos is completely up to you, but a foolproof system that I teach all of my students inside of my digital declutter in Lightroom Classic is a master photo folder. So within my master photo folder, I have three additional. I have personal, client, or blog and website images. Let's go ahead and open up my personal images. Then they are organized by year. And when you open up the year, they're also organized by month. Now, when I add images to these folders, I also name the event. So if we open up August, you can see ice cream, zoo, butterfly campground, September, we have eighth birthday laundry basket. All of these things mean something to me. So you're gonna name them something that's gonna be easy for you to remember. So if we look at the structure like this, again, you can see we have the master photos, then personal, then the year, then the month, and then the activity or the client name or whatever name makes sense to you. Now, it's also important that I mention right here that I do not add anything to this folder using this system on my computer. I do it all through the Lightroom catalog. I don't add anything to my external hard drive directly from my memory card. First, I open Lightroom Classic and I do it that way. I'm going to make more videos soon about the Lightroom Classic catalog because I have a comment that is asking for it that I need to answer. So if you need help understanding the Lightroom catalog and how it works, definitely make sure you're following me. There's going to be more of this kind of conversation coming up soon. Let me know your questions in the comments over here. I'll see you on my website, nancysmiley.com. Bye.